Hello, welcome. This is me, Brains. And I'm going to be playing some Fear Rising today. But I'm also going to be playing it in an ASMR-like way, for example. So we're going to be playing in a soft, sort of soft-spoken manner. If this is the kind of thing that you like, then let me know. Or don't, you don't have to. <laughs> Just enjoy. I'm going to try and do this for a whole playthrough of V Rising and see where it gets us. Just to see if it's something that people would like to see. Yeah. Without further ado, let's get stuck into it. So, I'm going to call this soft spoken. I think that's the best way to do it. We are going to, of course, change a few bits and bobs just so that we can sort out everything in a timely manner, of course. But not too timely. We don't want to rush through this series. <laughs> but let's see how it goes. And of course, if this is too weird, you just have to tell me it's too weird. And then we'd be able to adjust it a little bit. But until then, we're going to give it a go as it is now. So, we've obviously got our base modifiers, we're going to probably leave all of that about the same. We'll leave most of that the same, we'll probably change the yield to maybe two times. The power and stuff can stay the same. We'll leave the V-Blood units health and damages all about the same as well. That's that's all right mostly, and it's just the craft rates and refinement rates. Those we probably want to stick somewhere sort of seven, seven, seven. We want the refinement rates and the crafting rates to be very, very easy. I think build cost multiplies the amount of materials required to build structures. So theoretically a higher number is bad. So if we just put this at a 0 0.8 or thereabouts I should say because we won't be able to get it. Oh he smashed it. He's got it bang on. Kind of do the same for this one. Nope. But that's okay. <laughs> Close enough. And then servant convert rate, we'll just whack that up to 20. Because it doesn't take humans that long. And this is 0 0.75, but it is 100 regardless, I'm pretty sure. We'll make the daytime length just a tiny bit shorter. And there you go. I think we are more or less ready to get into this, I would say. We don't need to worry about any of this, but for the sake of it, ASMR gaming. That's that's what we'll put as the password, and then there might be someone who randomly joins. That'd be really funny and odd if they did, but who knows? And let's initialize. Of course, if anyone has any other suggestions for games that they've either seen me play on my Twitch channel or other games that they're interested in, then please do let me know because it would be nice to see what is interesting or interesting for the audience, I should say. <laughs> this is really weird to me, believe me. This is odd. But hopefully we get stuck into this and then uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I've played about 200 hours of this game already, and I have to say, I, I really do enjoy it. It's one, of, it's one of my favorite games at the moment, if not probably my favorite. It's a shame, I'm sort of running out of things to do, but right. So this is our chap. We'll give him a nice little beard. Nice little beard is always nice. 
and then the hairstyles. Well, I mean, people were telling me I was in my emo phase, so maybe we'll go beard and then emo hair and see what happens. <laughs> I love that. You can barely tell the face. Oh, that, that, that's terrifying. We don't want it terrifying. We'll go with face five. He looks pretty cool. Remus. You know what? Let let us take Remus. Remus. Finish this adventure. I might even make him jazzy and give him those little ear, ear protectors. What, what would you even consider these in the vampire world? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, let's do it. Remus it is. Load me into the game. Let's get cracking, I guess. We shall see what happens. Might make the game just a tiny, tiny bit quieter. I know it's pretty quiet anyway, but hopefully you can still hear it all right. Oh wow, that's a short day. I wonder if you can just turn day off, maybe. I didn't, to be fair, <laughs> never explored that as an option when I've played this. You're going to see for someone who has many hours in this game, pretty newbie at it, I have to say. I don't really know why. <laughs> but that's, that's just me, I guess. And you can actually re-enter that. Not that there's any point. At all. But yeah, so you, you can just start by clubbing some skeletons. And that is actually quite loud. <laughs> well, that should be much better suited now. Good craft speed, though. That's always lovely to see. Nice speedy crafting. I don't think I adjusted the resource gain at all, so it, it'll still be a relatively thorough adventure, which is always good. We can definitely take our time with this. Oh, that's where you were. Hello. Look at me. Look how beautiful I look. I do like how they make the the male vampires look triangular, and the <laughs> and the females obviously. I can't even say that they look hourglass. They just because they're like bent forward, but the males look so like pyramid shaped, upside down pyramid. It's hilarious. So these are only the starting ghouls. The ones later on a very fun little ability that we'll explore. For anyone who doesn't know, we will explore it in detail later, but not yet. Oh yeah, anyway. Get some more bones. Fly through this first part of the area. Always good to collect some bones and rats just early on because it's easy enough to get hold of some. Boop. That's quite funny. Boop. A boop. A boop. 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 Can't see. Trash in the place little by little. <laughs> West Farbane we go. Ha ha. And yes, you can theoretically go back in here, but you can't re-teleport in this beginning area, which is very weird. <laughs> but very wonderful. That's some good craft. That's some good craft right there. Right there. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Okay, now we need to find some animal hide to be able to upgrade the other parts of the armor. Animal hide is very useful. And 
so is also taking the blood. So yeah. And we've got the appropriate animal hide. We'll be able to craft more of these. And then we'll get stocked up on a little more. Claim the next thing and then we're off to do some bone axes, cut some trees down and then that's usually just the order of business. We go from cutting trees to gathering rocks. And then... Over to actually crafting the bases. It's kind of fun, but... I never really sort of take my time making a base. I might do that as a separate little video or maybe on stream one day. Just because I never really get the chance. Mainly just because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not very artsy. So I'm not someone who's able, realistically, to... ...do do very much when it comes to making some nice base. I'm kind of rambling now, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not very... ...not very special when it comes to making... ...making things. So bases I usually just plonk down straight away and then... Just, just sort of <laughs> see what happens. Uh, there's not really a lot to bases for me. It's the same in any other survival game, like Minecraft and Valheim as well. Any of those sorts of base 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 building games. I'm just, I'm always very quick to finish them because I just want to get on with the fighting. I like the fighting. Resource gathering is kind of fun, but I find that it's a lot of fun specifically when you're doing it with other people. That's where it becomes a lot of fun. Because then, say, some people could go out and fight and I could be like a little resource gatherer. I've always wanted to do that, but uh, trying to find enough people to do something like that. <laughs> you destroyed that wolf. Don't mind me, I will definitely take the resources. Thank you very much, Litriant. Thank you kindly. <laughs> oh. But yes, we'll plonk down a base. We might spend a little bit of time making it look at least a little bit pleasant. But otherwise, we're going to try and jump straight into the fighting. Because the fighting is the most enjoyable part of this game. The combat's a lot of fun. I have to say. So yeah. This will obviously be an introductory part. I believe that's uh, Lydia firing stuff up there. I am not particularly high level, so... I probably will not engage in fighting her just yet. But I could do with one extra Blood Essence. I will just show you for the sake of it how much damage I would do. 22, see? It's not terrible damage, especially with the help of like a bear or something. Oh, I missed. There you go, she killed it. And I don't do awful damage. Just fights like this at this sort of level. That skeleton can't stop hitting the hitting the rock. Yeah, got you just before you went invisible. I wonder if you can actually counter those. I don't think so, because they are like a that was rude. I'll spend lots of time fighting her though, why not? You can't counter her projectiles though, which is quite nice. Some, some of these earlier bosses do really, really help you with... Uh, 
just the idea of getting used to everything. Go on, skeleton, off you go. It's just me and Lydia now. Oh, oh, oh one damage. Fourteen's not bad. Then she's going to go invisible again. And then I'm going to slap her for six damage. Hit her for fourteen with the spicy spell. Did not work that time. Maybe it's my keyboard. Maybe it's getting tired. No, oh, I did eight damage to the tree. There you go. <laughs> that way. Oh. Boop. Maybe the wolf will get involved. This is quite silly. <laughs> this is quite funny, just like a piddle in the health pool down. Lydia, please stop being invisible. Yay, she's nearly gone. Got her! <laughs> you lost to a level 10. Madame, how do you feel? You feel... Well, that should be... No, that wasn't even blood essence. <laughs> we fell on the creature blood. Creature blood's nice for just sort of getting around, but otherwise it's not uh, not the most useful thing in the world. 40, 40, 60, 60, we're getting closer, 60, 70, excuse me wolfies, you're in the way. interact with it and then you've done the next step quite a nice little uh, base but let's just maybe put some more borders down and let's clear it up a little bit shall we I think that would be nicest for it yeah now food for thought is the fact that they still probably need to redesign the male vampires in this game because I think they sound like vampires. It might be offensive when you say like blur blah blah, but come on, I mean going yar 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 just like that just yar yar <laughs> Sounds so silly. And yes, once we've done this next step, then we actually get to unlock some of the bits and bobs that are really useful, like sawmills. It'll make us refine our wood. That's what's very useful. To start us off. And then most of the time we'll, we'll have too many things like planks in excess that we don't need anymore. If we gain enough lumber. Chop all the trees down and then get 400 billion planks and then nothing else can be done. There's still these fancy halloween -y stuff. And then it also wants us to put down some walls, which... Oh. We will put down three. See, and then it's popped up with sawmill and simple workbench. We'll go make ourselves gear level 15, which is what it wants. But also refine some planks. You see you got the planks, but then the refinement, it needs a bit of stone. Cannot dismantle a floor. Ooh, what does that mean? Okay, I think I, I think it was telling me off for something. 
I'm really sure what. Nine blood. That'll keep us going for an hour. That's good. Let's get some more lumber for that. And then we'll be able to make a workbench. Which will cost us animal hide, stones and planks. Fairly self-explanatory. And we made it much quicker, so... We won't be waiting around forever for every little bit and piece of the game. In this nice little playthrough. But we'll see how far we can get within the next couple of days on this playthrough. It's the perfect amount of planks, actually. But for now, we will chuck that down. As you can see, we get access to a nice little bunch of tools that we can use. But most importantly, we've got the the plate guard stuff, which will increase our level just a little bit. Now, I usually try and skip the Blood Rose ring and go straight for the Grave Digger ring because Grave Dust and Morning Stones are not too difficult to get hold of. I don't think, anyway. We got another 12 planks. That's not bad. We'll chuck all of them in there. Ooh, what do we want? We'll go for a mace, personally. That makes us level 16, and we're done. And then it wants us to make a blood altar, which requires essence and stone. So we will come back to that at a later date. For now, we're off. Well, we've got two different directions we can go. I think I'll start by potentially going over to grab the lilies and stuff, just because it's closer. Slightly harder, because they are slightly like higher level than the guys in the copper mine. And there you go, you can just juggle a skeleton just by clubbing him with a club. A big mace. Big mace club. How to dispatch skeletons. Club them. That says these are skulls. This guy seems to just be walking around. I was going to say, he does usually spawn things. Rats. They do some damage, but you don't have to worry too much about the damage you take. As long as we get them killed. And then we go bop. Bop. Because those are armoured ghouls, you see that they're going to stand back up. That's the cool thing. And then we can go bap, 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 bap. And then goodbye, sir. It was nice seeing you. There's another one. They attack very slowly, though, so you shouldn't have any trouble with these guys. gonna be daytime. Thank goodness we're in a graveyard, though. Now, she's a bit tricky, so we won't go up near her yet. Let's instead gather some more morning lilies and such. Push them all away. Oh, I hit a skeleton. Go. You could just push him a further bit away. And then he's gone and all his skeletons just despawn. And they also don't drop you anything, so they're pretty useless. Goodbye, sir. Yeah, I'll leave a little decoy of myself for you. Boop. Boop. This shadow bolt is going to be very useful for us. Don't think we're gonna end up with the correct amount of grave dust that we need. He says until he manages to smack some out of thin air, it seems. He 
Two more in here? Oh, there's none. He dropped one though. Not bad. And that's perfect. I think we've got just enough. Brilliant. And here, just as we go. Hey, Gorswine. Boom. Bye-bye, Gorswine. <laughs> See you later. Just give her a little belly rub, why not? These are the slightly better bloods, so rogue blood is useful for your offense. Warrior and bloop. Blue, 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 blue. I can't say brute properly. Brute blood. Blute blood. <laughs> is uh, very handy for your defense. Creature is very nice to start off with. And yeah. Oh, and this is exactly what we want. Boop, boop. As I say, you don't have to worry too much about taking damage, because you can heal up a good portion of it. And you can do some really decent damage. Whoops. Good crit damage as well. And then he's gone. And this is the important boss for one sole reason of transportation. All form is nothing to scoff at, to say the least. All form is very, very useful in this game. We got a lot more bones and a lot more wood. More wood means more planks, and that is very good. It will make ourselves one of these grave digger rings and it will make us very powerful. We go from 16 to 22. And just for the fun of it, we'll make the boots as well. Now we're at 23. So now we need a bunch of stone. And also copper. And while we're down there, we'll probably also run into a good good hunky man in the copper mines. See how it goes. Always the best. We can grab stone and copper now that we've got the reinforced mace. And we will be fighting many V-Bloods in this, and as the game goes on, there will be some very tricky ones towards the end, but I will hopefully be able to show you guys at least one sensible method of killing them. Every so often. <laughs> I'll be able to do it every every single time, but one can hope. I'm probably going to end up not uh, not doing a base properly, am I? <laughs> Silly me. Gives me a whole three extra levels, the difference between the bone and the reinforced bone. And my spell nearly destroyed him instantly. Thug, thug, thug. He gives his paper. You can also go to attack them like an execute to stop them from hitting you. Which is so cool. Combat in this game really is just quite satisfying, I have to say. Got some proper gem rocks down here. I'll probably one shot him. Oh, I did not. Incredible. But then we're going to start ramping up the loot that we keep getting here. And munching on a midway through the fight means that we get a nice little advantage. 
because you go non non solid mode, whatever you want to call it, which really does help. Not to mention it's a seven and a nine second cooldown, which is seven second cooldown in this game is not terrible. Some abilities have a 12 second cooldown, which is pretty scary. However, we will go and get us Errol in a second. Which will be fantastic. So, let's see how we go. Boop. I think I hit something open. Nope. But at least we can get all the copper. Copper and stone is what we're looking for. And also Errol. Hi Errol. Where is he? Oh, there he is. You see him? The big miner chap. I'll just handle you myself. Please do, Errol. Obviously these guys are nothing to worry about particularly. Reinforced Bone Spear. Say the line, Errol. Go on, you know you want to. That's what I want to hear. Let's hear that crunch. guy. You big hunk, you. Please do take your break. Ah, alchemists. Alchemy f lab flooring? Yeah, nice. Perfectamundo. Assortment of windows. Okay. Can't see around a rock, which is kind of funny. And yes, it's always worth it to kill the enemies, even if you wanted to be a pacifist, because uh, they can also help you along your way with dropping your stuff. That's very useful. Especially because sometimes you look at you look back at some of the machines you get given and you think, oh, I need to craft that. Okay, no problem. And then some of the slightly later enemies just drop it. So you actually don't need to craft it at all. A good example of that in this game is the whetstones. Whetstones are one of the items where you actually fight someone who unlocks you a recipe for it. But... I don't particularly... I personally have never really used it. I don't find it particularly thrilling or useful in any way. Personally, of course. Boop. I'm going to do this and then boom. It's so much damn wash. I do like the mace the most, I think, when I when it comes to the weapon types. I think the sword just doesn't doesn't have its use, although it is a very quick weapon, which is very nice. However, the mace is just a bit bulkier. And there are some weapons later on that you unlock. Oh dear, you went invisible and then blip. <laughs> he blooded. Oh, all these boxes are back. Smashy, smashy. See, look, wolf form. <laughs> <laughs> Very 
Very useful indeed. As are these gem rocks. At a later date. And you've got so much inventory space in this game that you'd be foolish not to use it. In a game like this, you should always be seeing that inventory inventory full pop up all times. And then it's about management, which is always funny. There we go. So just another few planks, which is lovely. And we only need one machine because it's not going to take a while. And then these, which usually take eight minutes, are going to take a minute fifteen. Which is far nicer than eight minutes. Yes, we only need, I think it's sixteen of these and we'll be able to get another weapon upgrade, which is excellent. We'll come over here. See, we need a few more planks. That's why we've got all of this on the go. And then we'll be able to upgrade the mace. And see, the trees don't differ very much in this game. So I think that the mace is probably the best choice. See, this is going to make us level 26. Well on our way. Well on our way. We can make vermin trap at this point. We can make the blood altar, which is what we need to progress things forward. We have got the devourer, which is very useful to break stuff down. Rider's also quite useful. And so is the blood press. So they all serve the purpose, I suppose. And stairs. Can't forget about stairs. I guess we'll place one down just so that we can construct it. All these people have their own little designated, besides maybe Gorswine, but that's easy enough. Hey, Alpha Wolf. <laughs> oh yes, Research Desk, that's next. That's where the paper will come in handy. But for now, we've got a couple of other low-level bosses to go and deal with. So we're going to go do that first. With our newly founded level 26-ness. And yes, that, this base spot is great. The only thing that you will find, though, when you're lazy like me and don't put up enough walls, is that the Alpha Wolf will just come perusing through and just steal everything. It's funny. It's funny mainly because you, you kind of don't really ask for it, but it happens anyway. <gasps> Sneak attack. Aww. Boop. It's quite nice as well, physically power-wise, physical power-wise, to just club some things, some enemies especially. Definitely my favourite. It's very satisfying, especially with a heavier weapon. The lighter weapons are fun for more speed. The heavy weapons feel like they pack a bit more of a punch. It's very lovely. We get some more paper on the way. That's got him. That's got him. And they start introducing new sort of stun mechanics from everyone and it's alright. Got him. Some more paper. Paper's always nice. And then we come out from the corridor. We go pacha, And then we go pacha. They're all gone as well. Ha ha. Let's go to the logging camp first. He's very useful. As we'll get on in a minute. But Lydia. I could have almost mistaken her for just a regular enemy. <laughs> it didn't look like Lydia. It just looked like some random dead eye. I think this guy's supposed to be Irish. Oh, okay. 
doesn't look like that interesting. I'm gonna call you target practice. Do it, Rufus. And he's gonna run out. He has got a really interesting ability that he gives you that blood rage. What What am I? I'm someone who sunk a rather respectable number of hours into this game and uh, I'm now quite sad. I kind of like it more than the counter, so I think we will probably replace that with Blood Rage. That's the other thing that is really nice about this game. The amount of customization you can you can use two different abilities, a different weapon. And this makes you attack quicker and gives you a little shield. It's awesome. Hey, Peekaboo. Whoa. Inventory full. Already. Whoops. <laughs> well then. We have already uh, maxed out the inventory. Pretty impressive. But then again, I suppose I didn't study any of the books, and I also didn't put anything in a chest, so if anyone's to blame, I suppose it's me. I suppose it is me anyway, because I am kind of playing in a single-player world, but... Oh well, whoopsie daisy. Yeah, this game is uh, a lot of fun and has a lot of variation in it. And just like even the, the amount of time you can spend just doing bits, bobs and the others. Just rude, sir, wasn't it? Plant fiber? No, 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 I'm good. And even things like the blood rage can speed up. I, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> can speed up the rate at which you mine things. It's very well put together. I have to say. Just quite marvellous. And now we're moving on to the Frost Archer. The bosses will get bigger, meaner, scarier. Don't you worry. Someone just killed the dog. Boop. Blood rage everything, tank the damage, destroy the enemies. Very satisfying. Not as satisfying for me personally as someone talking really, really quickly, but also quite softly spoken. That's very satisfying. Be gabble. And on to Keely. Hey, Keely. Well, you can't be doing that, can you? And I could just kind of dodge out of the way, which is pretty impressive. That wolf just helped me out there. Stand in the middle of them, and then I don't get hit. Ah, oh, I keep getting hit by him, though. You're looking a bit cold, Keely. It's kind of like a little cheeky speed run for the bosses, and anything that is near you will take a 
certain amount of damage, and with these bears, they'll probably die. Oh, except for you. You didn't die. But that's okay. Ooh, I do really, really want that unsullied heart. I can also chuck those on the floor because I don't really need them at the moment. And yeah, this is just sort of the beginning part of the game. All I can kind of say is uh, this this would be sort of a nice little cheeky part. Sort of first part, if you will. And, uh, yeah. I hope, I hope you stick around for the rest of the series, if I decide to make a series out of this. Thank you. Right, we are in exactly the same place as we left off. Nothing's changed. Everything's still trying to kill us. Usual business, if you know what I mean. And then, yeah. We just finished killing Kaylee, Keely, Key Lime. I'm not sure. The, the Frost Archer Mama. So we've done all of that. And if you want to see the little boss list, so we've done this, 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 this. Next, it's Gorswine. And then it'd be Grayson, and then we're just going to basically try and do all these bosses in the order that it shows. Oh, I, I sort of killed him, but sort of didn't. Hi, bear. Goodbye, sir. Nice seeing ya. Boxes to smash. Leather, yes please. Just in case you drop me any more, please give us your resource. Thank you. And then I can also show you a little way gate system because we are quite near our way gate. So we may as well go cross way gates just to show you what they do. As long as you toggle, if you do play this game, a teleport bound items. You want to turn that off. It's a little like checkbox. Also, you want to leave him alone for another like 20 levels or so. We'll come back to Tristan. Tristan is a good root of all evil. But for now, we are not interested in him. We've now spat ourselves out the other way gate. You'll come across loads of them dotted around the entire map. But for now, we're going to come back home. Yeah. It's lovely. There's also sulfur ore as well, which would be nice to have here. But, uh, well, I suppose we could part a stone dust or two. beat up all the stone that is the sulfur. Easy. Back home we go. Just like that. More of the gem rocks again. Eh, can't hurt to stop. If I can even pick them up. If I can't, then I guess we'll be on our way. Doesn't hurt to try, though. Yep, that'll do. We managed to fit them in our inventory somehow. Just beautiful. Beautiful. We'll come back for that rock in a second. If I remember where it is. Or I might just go gallivanting off to go find Gorswine again. Oh no, it, sw it swapped them round. Okay, well I'm going to track Gorswine anyway. That's what I saw next on the list. Right, well, since we've killed those guys, we've now got access to the tannery. It's pretty lovely. Not that we have particular room at the moment, so we will just 
part with our special gemstones, our shiny gems. We do have a little bit of coarse thread to play with for the next armor upgrade, which is always nice. There you go, now we've got at least a little bit sorted. We can actually get some sun resistance and max health if we wanted to, but I'm going to save that for now. I can make two of these, so I'll make two of those now. And we need some more lumber, which is never to be very surprised. You'll always need extra lumber, you'll always need extra planks. And especially if planks take like, no time at all to make, then you'll end up with more. More than you can ever hold in your hands. Anyway. We'll grab this. Put some more in to make. Can never have too many planks. And then there's the tannery. We're just going to slap this in the corner here. And you'll chuck this in to make some leather. Leather will make us that next tier of armor. Night Stalker stuff. Got the best ring. Now it's time to go and demolish Gorswine after a little bit of blood. Hi, Bear. It took so long to wake up that it was already gone. Already too late for you. Oh well. You tried, Mr. Bear. That's Lydia again. Hi, Lydia. I'm the same level as Lydia now, which is lovely. I'll always take more bones, but for the time being, excuse me please, because I don't want to get caught by Lydia. Let's try and get rid of some of these guys first. There we go, that's, that gets rid of some of the skeletons. These ones won't respawn because they're part of her, so... Okay, you're over there. Let me destroy this bench so I've got easier access to get to you. Hello! move just out the way at the right time. Look at me. There we go. Now we have to do a little move around because she's invincible. Don't want to get hit by any of these stinky clouds. Hit you again. <laughs> now we're going to go into these and take the, like, Poison damage? I don't really know what you'd call it. Oh. We just move around. Pop that in case I get hit by anything random. She's just a very spammy NPC, so she's a little annoying with that. There we go, got rid of him, which is nice. And then we can just basically beat her down like this. Nearly gotcha. Now this should be it. Bye bye. Yoink. And then I'm in the poison, but you are invulnerable while you are extracting V blood, which is a nice little thing that they put in the game. For sure. 
There we go. Gorse wine is down. And we got more grave dust for it. It's even nicer. Right. Now we'll be on our way straight up to the armory where we're going to go and beat up Grayson. And then we need to get the necessary conditions met to be able to get the pu uh, the rat for the rat form. We'll checklist it all off in the order. And it's Clive. To be fair, that's not actually a bad shout. We should probably start by putting the sulfur already in the furnace. Because then it'll be ready for a cooking once we are back. We need stone for a research desk. Okily dokily. We need five more stone. <laughs> we need to run out of room, so I might expand what we've got here. Whoops. Not that one. And that corner. There we go. Don't want the tannery. Please can that go out of the way? I want to... Oh yes, I can't do that. Well, I guess I'll be moving these individually then, hey? And then I can move it like that. And then the environment's blocking everything, which is not a shock, because there's like 15 trees in the way. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. That's what we got to do. Is more chop, chop, chop. And then blood rage to chop fast. Chop, chop, chop. And then just a couple more stones to get out of the way. Blood rage. Smash, smash, smash. Smash, smash. All the smash. Oh. Wait. Oh, right. I need an entrance. Then a gate. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. There we go. We used up... Some plant fiber and some lumber. But now we've got a nice big space to work with, which is great. Now that we have this stuff, we can spread it out a bit more when we need to. We've got the windows, we've got the alchemist floors, that gets rid of the books. Then we need to upgrade the castle heart, which is next. Definitely put down a blood press. Need some more animal hide, which is not a shock, and some more stone. Because we want to make... Oh, we don't need much stone, though. And some bones. Which I'm sure we can figure out some bones. Where's the stone? That was easy. A putrid rat. We need fish bones, grave dust, and twilight snapper. We won't have that yet. We've got Grayson to go and finish off first, don't we? We also need some more leather. Let's grab the leather out then. That backward. Leather way. Oh, and then uh, make some more rats, I guess. Thank you, castle. I appreciate it. That's very rude, castle. Please stop. Oh, sorry, son. Not castle. Castle, you're very good. Oh, that's mighty, mighty sad. I guess we'll just collect a few more bits of stone so that I can make these. Oh no, we have the bones with, don't we? 
There we go. And now, for the sake of one measly hour of the day, I can actually go here. Be level 30 as well, which is pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. And we'll also make one of those now, why not? For that extra health. Very nice. <laughs>